Yeah, I wasn't sure if we'd be flying today. Well, if you want to fly, I mean, we can fly. What do you want to do? I'm comfortable flying okay. with you in that seat for sure, okay. but I mean, some of the winds were pretty stiff. But well, this, we'll test it to the limit. See we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm sorry to break it. So in and uh, if you'll select her, I just change to the right take because it's got a little more. Uh, mixture rich, car heats off, master switch. Um, Gyro spinning up. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nervous, nervous twitch. Good. Uh... Great Barrington traffic, 2 0 Romeo, radio check. Yeah, she may be on the phone right now, so don't worry about it. Bye. Okay, yep. We'll just taxi out. Okay. I was excited when they, the woman actually called me yesterday. Oh, that's great. That's, at least it, that's a step in the right direction, so. Well, that, and I think I can cell phone number now. Okay, good. <laughs> so, I have to work zero harder to ignore me. Clear. Altimeter 3013. That would be for you. 2012, thank you. Uh, 3013. Three, three, that would be way high, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, just set it to 740. These airplanes, these can actually be off as much as 200 feet because they're just not certified for IFR flying. Uh, okay. 3013. 3013, thank you. Okay. Uh, gas? Yep. Great, great back to traffic, 20 Romeo crossing runway. Uh, taxi on the grass, 29. I was going one one. Oh so one one. one. Yep. Let me do one one. Back taxi two zero Romeo. Back taxi one one. There you go. Left drop. Right drop. Curve heat drop. And 
vacuum's good. Okay, that's a pretty stiff crosswind. Now, I'm supposed to steer and into the wind? Uh, yep, just to get a start. You usually turn into the wind for your runner, but the wind's not strong enough in there right now. But uh, okay. when you take off, you're just going to start this. And as you pick up speed, you're going to take it out, take it out. So uh, when you rotate, it's neutral, because if not, you're going to go right into a bank. Turkey 3, 3, 4, backpacking, runway 1, 1. Okay, we, we left you some room at the end of the pool here. Thank you. She holding for us? No, no, no. Okay. Lay it down. Make sure you get your flaps. One, two. Okay. Uh, let's see. Fuel pump on. Part. All right. Silly me. Okay. Proper tank. Right tank. Fuel pumps on. Magneto. Both. Uh, primer is locked. All right. Uh. Beats off, mixtures. Two trim tab I had already. Uh, heading into key. Arr. Okay. Uh, ponder to. Dude. And those are free and clear. Doors, windows. Close last. And okay. Take off brief. We are going to short field takeoff. We are going to apply the brake. We are going to give it full power. Make sure we got 2150. Everything's in the green. Proceed down the runway after a release break. Okay, now the other thing is we're gonna have this here. Now once it's time, you're just gonna fly the nose. Don't yank it, fly the nose off. And what happens, it's gonna start going into the wind. It's gonna go like this here. Just keep the wings level and it's gonna go right into wind correction angle. And you're gonna see that you're heading towards that house down there rather than down there, but you're going right down the runway. Instead right. of flying and heading 110, you're 120, but that's a natural wind correction angle. Okay, and then a little left rudder? Uh, no, no, just, no. You, you, just, just rotor off. It's gonna go, just keep the, just use, Keep the wings level, and okay. it's, just, it's a little bit of forward slip on takeoff. But next thing you know, you're right down the runway, center runway, heading this way here, and everything's centered. So, am I still going to need right rudder? Like uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rotation yep, compensation. Yep, yep, okay. yep, yep, yep. All right. So, make position to start. Twenty-one fifty. Oh, and three. Now, you can also, you just look, if you see the airplane starting to lift up, uh, turn to the right, that means you got too much air on, but you know, okay. you're doing perfect right now. There you go. Okay. And okay, about 60. Roll, roll, roll. There you go. Now, nice and easy. Just keep the wings level. See that? Beautiful. Okay. See that? No, just keep the wings level. Okay. See that? See, see that's your wing correction angle right there. See that? You're going right down the center of the runway. And you see, look at that. You're coordinated. See the ball in the center? Yep. You're perfect. That was a beautiful takeoff. And that's what you do, and in a day like today, you don't want to hold that slow speed. Just keep your speed up a little bit, just so you get situational awareness. Okay. That was very nice. You see and how that just, just keep yep. this. Yeah, and there's the idea, is you, do is you don't want to yank it off, just fly it. You'll see the airpline starting to turn that way. Just give it the aileron to keep that left wing down. And then next, it's a little bit of forward slip on takeoff. Next thing you know, you're off you go. All right. That was beautiful. I got a tear in my eyes. so beautiful. <laughs> All right, so. Great Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, turning crosswind, one way, one one. Great Barrington traffic, Cherokee C3 uniform, departing runway one one to the south. Uh, a lot of times it's peak. Two zero Romeo, turning downwind, runway one one. The takeoff departure is talking cabin at any phase during this portion of right here, because you know you bring the flaps up and you get too high of a sink rate or something like that, you get a little bit of a, a gust of wind. So when you least expect it, you just got to be careful that you don't get a gust on.
Are we on? Or back? Am I? Great Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, turning base, runway 11. Nice job flying the airplane. That said, don't mess up the landing. <laughs> no, you, do, you, do, you do a beautiful job. Okay. You know? it's just, you're just waiting for your medical because you know, get the medical, you're going to go by yourself. It's going to be well deserved. More trim, we're never gonna hear now, here's, here's a little thing about this airport here. You see the winds are coming down here. See that yep. hill right down there where the wind yep. thick is? Sometimes when the wind's out of direction, it does this here. Oh, somewhere, somewhere, you know, between traffic, two zero Romeo, turning final, runway one one. Sometimes between the trees and the, why well, you can get a pretty nasty downdraft. Okay, so that's just being being ready for it. Okay, and this is just reading the terrain. It could be any airport in the world. So now it's directly across that little hill right there. Is capable of developing some really nasty stuff. Okay. 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 Boom. Let's see here. You're doing fine. Hold it right there. See, that's a wind correction angle. See, hold it right there. See? Okay. Bring, bring the power all the way off. Power all the way off. There you go. Good. See? I see that second runway line? It's yep. stationary. It's sta pretty much stationary right there. Again, I just the plane right back there. Nice and easy. That wind's going to really lift you up and turn you. There you go. Okay. Just relax. See that second runway line? Yep. Nice. Okay. Now we're just, now just going to break the glide. Now nice and just let, no, not too much. Let that. And I'll let it fly right on it. Beautiful. That's what you do on a day like today. Okay. That okay. was beautiful. So keep just a little more airspeed, is yeah, it? Yeah, you just maybe just a couple knots, but not too much. What happens? You got a little high on that final there, so what happened is that yeah. we had to bleed off. But it, that was fine. That was fine. Okay, taxi the other direction on the yeah, grass. Yeah, we're going on the grass. Yeah. Okay. Great Barrington traffic, 2 zero Romeo, clear the active runway, taxi on the grass, runway 1-1. One one. And then when you do this, you know, make sure you get the uh, off and the flaps. Good. And now also when you go for your check right, it, it, you got a quartering tailwind, and you understand why? See that wind is hitting that aileron on the left-hand side? And it okay. keeps that wing down. If the wing is like this here, you can get underneath there, you can lift the wing up. Okay. It's not so much with a low wing aircraft, because see how you got that grass and everything else? It's very hard for the wind to get underneath that wing and, and flip you over. Unlike a Cessna, a high wing airplane, it can get underneath there and it can create a lot of updraft, okay? So a Cessna can is very susceptible to flipping over with uh, real strong winds. questions at all. You're flying is really, really well, you know. And yeah, is, I mean, the is, crosswind stuff is obviously, This you know, is, this is extreme. This, yeah. e this even would test me, because you see that? That's, the, when it gets gusting like that, that's that's even testing my ability, because you think you got it made, and all of a sudden you get a gust of wind, and next thing you know, you're 20 feet in the air, okay? Well, I wouldn't, even when I start soloing or whatever, I would probably not go out under those conditions no. until I get more time and get and as a chance there you wouldn't go out anyways until you got, you know, plenty of time. But then also, you, you may come back from some trip and all of a sudden the winds are like that. So sometimes right. you're forced to, you know. And this is when you go for your check ride. The, the difference between currency and uh, proficiency, okay? I'm current, you know, I got my landings, but I mean, that's a pretty strong crosswind. I haven't, you know, like if Peggy will, when you go for your check ride, Peggy or Doug or whoever you take it with, it's okay, you know, you, you, you know you've know, logged a bunch of crosswind, you know, a bunch of landings in the last 90 days, but it's all been calm winds, you know? You get out to the airport and it's like, you know, 90 degrees in runway and it's right at the maximum limits of the airplane. What are you gonna do? Well, look up, uh, search my logbook and see if I've done any correct right. Great back to traffic, 20 Romeo, back taxi, runway 11. They just told me, look, you know, I, I haven't done this. I 
but it wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt to uh, get an instructor and just say, okay, hey, look, I need an instructor to help me uh, get through this and do a couple crosswind takeoff and landing. So that's that's what they're, when you go for your check right, you're gonna start erring on the side of safety no matter what, okay? Whether you or not, but they wanna hear the fact that, hey, look, you know, it's it's probably safe that I have an instructor to go with me once or twice because I haven't done some strong crosswinds since last fall, you know, and uh, it's been, you know, Okay, so we uh, get are. get your checklist. Oh, you once you get have books here, because that way there is one. Proper tank, fuel pumps on. Is our everything good? Magneto's primer is locked. Probes are on. Is good. Flaps to. That's good. Hit. Here we are good. Altimeter is our altitude. Controls are doors, windows, okay. all that good stuff. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna let you do the takeoff all by yourself this time here. Just and you just, just watch it when a day like that when it's real windy don't yank it up just fly it off and as soon as you start doing that just keep the wing concentrate and keep the wings level and you're going to go right into position great back to traffic two zero romeo departing runway one one staying in the pattern Everything's in the green. Airspeed is alive. Okay, just, just, well, just, just relax. Just hold on, just like that. Perfect. See? Just get yourself situational awareness. You can see that there's really bumpy there. If you just locked it, comes on. Very nice. Very, very nice. That was a very nice takeoff, by the way. It's just weird to try and want to yep. get... Yep. To, just to let it naturally... As long as my course is correct, yep. the heading doesn't have to be, right? Yep, that's right. Yep, you, you, and that's what it is. It's just a natural wind correction angle. And you come in on final just like this, same way. So as you do just before you land, all you do is just give it the left rudder to straighten out the nose. And there you go. Great Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, turning crosswind, runway 11. Great Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, turning downwind, runway 11. Didn't quite keep my climb speed there. Uh, sometimes when it's bumpy like this, you, you have no choice, but you can't, okay? Okay. Because the, uh, you know, you're trying to keep the 80, next thing you know, you got a gust of wind, so now you're way up like that, you don't want to do that. So now you're just an average out, do the best you can, do the, give it some, because remember, you're gonna have passengers on board, it's nice and smooth, you gotta think about them when you're giving a ride also.
Great Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, turning base, runway 11. RPMs were up a little high that whole time, weren't they? Don't ever be afraid to bring the power all the way off. Great branch of traffic, 20 Romeo, turning final, runway 11. Now you're defeating the purpose, just now you're getting up to 90. Okay, so I'm yeah. going power all the way off. So, okay, pretend it's so much flaps to see your way height there. Ah. Uh, yep. Okay, so there now, we go. Okay. Now let's do a slip into the wind here. So there's going to be a full left rudder and aileron. Uh -huh. There. Come on. Oh, did you see that second runway line? Oh, right there. Now you're going to steer the airplane with the ailerons because the rudder, you're going to run out of rudder before you run out of aileron. That second runway line? Yep. It's stationary. you got to keep an eye on you. There you go. See that? Second runway line's coming down nicely. Speed's good. we got to watch out for the airspeed. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Now straighten it out. Now straighten it out. There you go. Come in land. There you go. You got the airplane. Nice and easy. A little bit of right rudder. There you go. Hold it off. There you go. Cool. See what happened is on that, that's it. Just relax. Just relax. I, I got that, you. That's fine. All I right. don't care. One tire's off. Yep. You did a nice job recovering it. The idea is right. not to panic. No, I get now, to look at that point in the distance. Yep. Now what happened was the uh, all the way on the base, you stayed at 17, 1800, you didn't start down, and that's why you were high. Right. So, so what you want to do is, I'm on the base, like, I want to start down. And again, point, how do I look? Here I am, that's why I'm, I'm getting really steep, the angle's getting steeper, so I need to chop the power. Or square okay, it yeah, off. the third notch of flaps would have been beneficial, too. Yep, yep, yep. But they say that forward slip, you're going to run out of running, so you, you can afford to put the nice and easy, put the full, you, can, you want to slip into the wind, the windows from the right, so you give it full left rudder, that exposes, and you're going to, and it's going to go to the left, so you're going to add the aileron to stop the turn, and what happens is the aileron will outpower the rudder, so what happens is you're going to, you're going to fly the airplane with the aileron, you know, and the rudder, if you get there too much to the left, put a little bit of right aileron in there, and if it's going to the right, then it means you got too much aileron in there. Now the slip thing is, uh, is definitely different. I got to play with that a little bit more. I think maybe up in the up in the air just to get the the feel for it, because uh, sort of. Well, we can come in high if you want. Just practice. That's the way to do it. Is because you're going to use it for landing. That's the only time you're going to use it. Basically, look for. And that's used to drop altitude. If you go and say you're going to say you live, you only have this small field there, and you got trees right there. If I use a normal angle, I'm going to I lose all from here to those trees as a normal landing spot. What I do is I come in on a slip. When it does, it cuts that angle. I can cut in a steeper angle, okay. and at the last second, transform it out, and I can land from here to there and then make the landing rather than go through the uh, edge. Okay, so that just increases the drag on the plane. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Yeah, it's slowly. The trick is, but you got to keep it, it. It does no good if you keep 120 miles an hour, because when you roll out, you're doing 120, now you're going to bleed off the speed. The idea is you keep the speed right around 70 to 80, your normal approach speed, even lower on the daily. Today, I wouldn't do any lower, but it is, it just, it comes down like this here. Okay. That's a perfectly legal maneuver to use when you're on your check ride, doing the engine out. If you're high, that's the only way to get down. And... On windier days, you want a little higher air speed yep. just yep. to compensate yep. for well, any unexpected yep. dust. Yeah, but also, it's also, see, right now, we got, that's a 20 knot stock, so if we're indicating 80, we're only doing 60 over the ground, so it's, if it is, it's going to, well, um, uh, okay, So you're actually near your stall. Yep, yep, yep. And doing a Linda Blair now, look at that. Which direction? And that's also another reason why maybe it's just a little bit high. Is up altitude, you may have just a little bit of a tailwind up there. Okay. Or down low here, it's showing uh, that it's a wind down two nine. This time here, when you when you take off, just watch the nose. It's just nice, easy. Fly the nose off, nice and easy. Watch what the nose does. Fly. If you see that wing coming up, just use the aileron to keep the wing level. You're doing an unbelievable job. Great bearing to traffic two zero Romeo back taxi runway one one. Cancel my next student because he's, he's it's uh, getting too windy here. Anyways, he does. He's got car trouble and isn't know if he's going to make it.
Fuel's on the proper tank. On. Good. Uh, those are both. Primer is locked. Probes are on. Pete's off. Two. Trim. Okay, heading into Cater. Transponders on altitude. Controls are free and clean. Doors, windows locked, seatbelt. Oop, there's that big ass bird. Yep. Alright, uh, you can. Great back to traffic. 20 Romeo departing runway 11, staying in the pattern. That thing looks menacing. Oh, yeah, they got those, uh, that's stuff. It's, uh, it's bigger than a crow, but it's not a hawk, so. I don't think Raven's out here or what. Now, you're looking at the far end of the runway while you're doing yeah. this takeoff, okay? There you go. Using your peripheral vision for everything. There you go. Now, relax. My feet aren't even on the rudder, okay. my hand's not even on the wheel. Just like that. Absolutely perfect. And see, it just lower the nose a little bit like that. Just a situational awareness. That was absolutely, if that's how you do it, I can't do it. I'm serious. I could not do a better job in this airplane on that. Because you did exactly what you're supposed to do. Very nice. Got to keep that arm, damn arm locked, though. Uh, now, what happens is, now just rest your arm on If you rest yep. your arm, okay, and just hold it. See this, like this, see this here? Just hold it like this here, see this? Not even moving. Just okay. so let the airplane bounce around a little bit. See that? I'm not even moving the control. Well, okay. okay. Great bearing to traffic. Two zero Romeo turning crosswind. Runway one one. Great Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, turning downwind, runway 11. There's my 17, or just go, just level right off. Level. There you go. They're going to bring the power right back, bring the power right back. There you go. <clears throat> Wonder if I can get you up there, climb me up a little bit, but just up to you just to hold that 17. Now at this point, start your descent. Look out straight ahead and start let let the air descent start bringing the fire back. We're below 2,000. There you go. Yeah, let the, let the nose down. Let the nose down. See this? Just let the nose down. There you go. See it? No, don't don't pull over back. Just let no let the nose down. There you go. See it? You got okay. bring the fire back somewhere. You still got you still got two more. There you go. There you go. Now I'm in good shape. Okay. So, okay. Very bearing to traffic. Two zero Romeo turning base runway one one. A little far out, aren't I? No, that's that's that tailwind. See, that's that wind. There yep. Yep. So, what I do is I dangle. See this here? Yeah. You know, I dangle right in like this here, just instead of a squared off base. Okay. Just just, just bring it in a little tighter. Just, just, I'm, I'm heading right towards this here because if I lose the engine, I got I got these fields here. I can't make the airport. There you go. Okay. There you go. Beautiful. See, much better approach. There you go. And what happens is you got to understand because when you, when you had that, you got the winds maybe more of this, so you had a tailwind. Uh, 
Great Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, turning final, runway 11. And I just look at that second runway line. Now the nose is going, the wind's going to want to go to the to the left here because it has to stop the turn, stop the turn. There you go. It's beautiful. See, it's just beautiful, beautiful. Concentrate on everything what you got right there. Perfect. Beats perfect. See that second runway line. Now you're going to get some updrafts and downdrafts. Now this time you may have to just at this point you'll be able to push the nose over to get to need where you want to go. There you go. You got there, so we hold it steady here, okay? Then you got the airport mate, power all the way off, power all the way off. See this? I'm just holding it right to that second runway line. See the second runway line? There you go, it's flat. Here's your learn, learn, learn. Now as you come down here, see this here? Nice and easy. Got a little bit of left rudder. What happens is don't be afraid to use that rudder and aileron together just to uh, keep that airplane on that second runway line rather than floating around a little bit. That was fine all the way around. See, it came in a little lower that time there. Yeah, it gets a little bit. Squirrely. Squirrely at the yep. end there, yep. which, yep. you know, I mean, but you always have the option for the go around. Yep. So, yep. what, just a little extra on those ones. American used to say five knots for mom and the kids. Great bearing to traffic, 20 Romeo, clear the runway. And it makes, I like to see uh, people like this here because what's going to happen is. If you come back and weather's like this, I know you're not going to have any problem. I know you're not going to have a problem because you, you fly the airplane so well. You really do. And again, a day like today, it takes a lot of concentration to fly that. Don't be afraid to just do you got You got controllability with the rudder and the airlines. Just do, do whatever it takes just to keep it right on that second runway yeah. line. And, and you don't, but that was fine. I mean, the flying is the easy part. It's the, uh, the, the, the landing. Oh, ah, well, that's, hey, <laughs> that's what keeps you coming back for again. I mean, I could do takeoff landings for, for you know, for my entire life. Well, it's a challenge you never perfect, I Great think. Great traffic, Turkey, three three uniforms, two miles south of the field. Uh, we're headed westbound. Where does he say? Two yeah, miles where? Two miles south and westbound. South. Hey, just to be advised, it's a pretty good strong uh, crosswind now and just some good little chops right on short final, but that's no, no big issue. Is radio or radio or what? Hmm. I can usually hear what people are saying, but yeah, a little jarbled there. Yeah, I haven't had any problems in this plane since you figured out that <laughs> that the yeah. nav radio is on. Yeah. So you got one radio's coming, one airplane's coming back, the, uh, that's coming back, the, I think tomorrow, then before Pittsfield, and then the Warrior's gonna go up for radios, and then we're getting all, the, every airplane one at a time is getting all new radios and all new setups. Really? Yeah. I'm still shopping for planes. Yep. Great Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, back taxi, runway 11. Almost had one, but the guy got weird, like what? super conspiracy theory, like, could have, you know, he, I paid uh, a professional free bike company to go look at, or to go pick it up and yeah. examine it for a couple of days. He wasn't going to let anybody take his plane for two days, or we are going to steal it, and I was like, uh, God did, damn it, did, I'd did, already paid for the free buy And then tell me that you have to fly to the free buy well, he offered to do that, but then he demanded that the whole thing be done in six hours on his time, and, and I, it was just, it was ridiculous. Yeah, so. yeah, I mean, you get people like that, and it's just like, they're not really sell, they're serious about selling their airplane. Yeah. If they're serious about selling their airplane, they're going like, you know what? Well, I even offered, I offered to put all the money in escrow. Yep. Just, just simple, you can't. If, if, if your plane doesn't come back from the inspection, you There's, get my you, money. You get the money. But, yeah, it was just weird. Fuel selector proper tank, fuel pump is just look good and mag primer is locked, probes are on, carb heat is off, mixture is rich, two, 
two. Trim tab back. Poor beer today. Okay. Better skip. Ponders good. Trolls are free. Close? No. Nope. Nah, they're, right. they're heading to Columbia County. So oh, okay. Yep. <coughs> These are about the traffic. Two zero Romeo departing runway one one. Staying in the pattern. These are about the max crosswinds for the airplane. That's sticking out 20 knots, and that's about the max cross. 18 knots is a uh, is a uh, max crosswind for the. Uh, you can go above it, but I'm just saying. Uh, the. Uh, I think my personal good. minimums are going to be yeah, low I, to start. Yep. No, you're doing fine. You're doing absolutely fine. Again, I, I'm looking at the far end. I was far as I can towards that house, and I'm using my peripheral vision for everything in between. That's because you brought it in too fast. All right. Got full power. Everything's in the green. Airspeed is alive. I take the aileron out. There you go. There you go. No, there you go. Just like that. See that? That's perfect. See how you're going, still going right down the runway? Yep. That's the natural wind correction angle right there. That was beautiful. Trying to keep that speed where it belongs yep. and get a little rudder authority in there. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Great bearing to traffic, 20 Romeo, turning crosswind, runway 1 1. Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, turning downwind, runway 11. I keep a little more of an angle yep. this way this yep. time. Yep, yep, that, that's, and then I would, I would go uh, at the end of the runway. I'd start my base and uh, not too far after the end of the runway because again, that wind is pushing you this way here. You're okay. indicating 100, you're probably doing 120 over the ground, so it's gonna, it's gonna push you really fast. So you're just gonna bring it back and, uh, okay, there you go. Even if I knew I had a working tailwind like this, I'd start doing the airplane right now. I've covered heat on. I've been probably right back below 2,000. Bring it right back, bring it right back, bring it right back, bring it right back. There you go, good. Okay, put down one notch of pops right now. Okay. Okay. You're just going to keep it close. You're not, not going to go too far because I cross one, okay? Wind's blowing you, so okay. I just, yeah, it's got to blow you this way, so. Great Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, turning base, runway 1-1. One, one. Yep. Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, turning final, runway 1-1. One, one. Now you just give it just a little bit of power just to carry yourself through because you got plenty of speed. Okay. Just hold that heading right like that. Hold that heading to keep the wings level. See this? Oh, there. Holding a heading until you get it lined up in the runway. See that? See that second runway line? Coming a little higher once I got it now. Now I can bring the power back. Bring the power back a little bit. Now just keep the nose down. Fly right to that second runway line. So you're going to cut right through the turbulence. Don't pick up the speed. There you go. Power all the way off. There you go. See that? Fly right to that second runway line. Fly right to the second runway line. Fly. No. Nope. Use rudder and air line. Fly. Oh. Fly right there. Fly. No. Fly right there. See it? See it? See it? Second runway line. There you go. Nice and easy. There you go.
That was perfect all the way till the end there. What happened? You started to chase a little bit. But again, yep. if I if I just stare at that point and I use my peripheral vision to fly the airplane to that spot, then you're gonna make it good. I guess I'm nervous or slow to react that close to the ground. Everybody is because they're afraid once you get to that point you can't move the controls and that's what's going to bite you in the ass because well. you're going to drift. So I said, don't be afraid to, if you got to give it rudder, whatever it takes. That's why I said, if I stare at that, when that car is down there, I can see what the airplane is doing rather than right over the nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess it, as time goes on, it'll become more intuitive yep, exactly. as to what to do, yep. but I have to stop and think about, yep, yep. you know, right yep. around, left around, yep. right rudder, left rudder. He's telling everybody, he says, you know, you're in the movie, you just, you can watch the movie, and it's like, okay, here it is, or I could be part of the movie, and I'm in the movie, and I'm just moving the control, I'm, I'm, yeah, there it is. You're doing a wrap series, you're, for the, for the, control, can I just make sure you get the cover, you know, oh, cool. for the conditions that are going on today, you are well above a student pilot, trust me. Well, that's comforting, Rick, but nowhere near where I want to be yet, so. It's a whole different ball game, though. I may never get there. <laughs> I, have, no, you, I get usually there. have lofty goals. So. You'll get there. Yep. You would think, I was, I'm constantly thinking about the whole battle with the town thing, and I'm like, I don't understand because there's a lot of wealthy people down here. Don't they own planes? Don't they want a place no. to put them? No. It's a, it's all, that's what I said. They, they were saying, oh, this is nothing but a playground for rich men. But you got a baker, and you got a guy that works painting houses, you got there, you got the guy that's a surveyor, you have another no. guy that just works as Just the immediate neighbors. Yeah. But I would think the overall area would be, like, yeah. you know, yeah. supportive of you. Yeah. Great back to traffic, 20 Romeo, back taxi, runway 11. Tank fuel pumps on, engine good, magnetos are both, probes are on, off, mixture's rich, good, flaps to, trims where we want it, headers, good, Pressure change. Uh, window doors locked and locked. Great bearing to traffic. Two zero Romeo departing runway one one. Staying in the pattern. Hey Jeffrey Delta five twenty four. How you doing today? It's a blistering cross right now. Good day, good day. Good day. Now that wind tries to pick it right up. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Back to uh, Phoenix tomorrow. So hope you all doing well. All right, bye bye. Absolutely perfect.
absolutely perfect. Great bearing to traffic, 20 Romeo, turning crosswind, runway 11. Great bearing to traffic, 20 Romeo turning downwind, runway 11. Biggest thing is just try and keep it around 80, nothing, nothing faster than 80, 80. Great bearing to traffic, 20 Romeo turning base, runway 11. A little farther out, but I got a little extra altitude still. Great bearing to traffic, 20 Romeo turning final, runway 11. There's no way you can make this, so you have to go around. Get ahead. That's no. There's no Great way. Traffic, okay. two zero Romeo, going around. Yeah, there's no way. No, I'm to go around. Just watch it. Watch, be careful on a day like today when it's no go around. Okay. It's nice yep. and easy to fly the airplane. There's just no way that you could make that. So I want you to get in the habit of not even trying. Okay. Okay. okay again, you're still you're on your. Uh, don't be. You put bring, bring the power right back up. Slow the airplane. No, not now. But maybe oh. on, on, the, on the down one. I just going to do, I'd, I'd keep it as close as I can on daily today because of the wind and I just start down, you know, as soon as I get to the number, I've been power all the way off, keep it, you know, try and keep it below and then what happens, you got a little high, you push the nose over and that's when you get really high and then, eh. Great bearings of traffic, 20 Romeo, turning crosswind, runway 211. And then the go around, all you do is just give it full power, just fly the airplane first so you know that nose is going to want to come up. So that's where you get to take off the departure stall, okay? Because you're not expecting that nose coming up, you got to add to get all that trim in there for landing so the nose wants to come up. So you got to hold that nose in the situation awareness and the attitude that you see that looks good and you can actually take it, okay? Great bearing to traffic, 20 Romeo, turning downwind, runway 11.
Each day is different. Uh, each landing is different. Wind's a little different every time you land, so you can't cut, you know, you're going to try and use a cookie cutter for most of the pattern, but for the most part, you know, watch this. Carburetor heat on. Never mind, just, this is what I would do. Watch this. Watch what I do, man. Now look at that. See that part? I'm just, I'm just standing close like this here. Okay. Strong headwind. I'm not letting that blow me out there. See, I've just got that second runway line. Looks good. I know I'm right into the wind there. That second runway line? Yep. I always feel like the final should be a longer leg, but... Uh, no, it, it, it depends on the situation here, sis. Uh, windy, bus, right. gusty, windy. See that second runway line? Yep. And this whole sight picture changed yeah. with the tree trim. Did I see that? Okay, here we go. Okay, you got the airplane. So see what I did? I just kept it really close and tight, and I just flew the airplane. Okay? I just kept looking at my nose and the runway, nose and the runway, and I just kept it. There's no need to go out on a five-mile final or, you know, a long two-mile final. Just keep it if I'm only one in the pattern on a day like today, because if I lose the engine, I want to be able to at least, you know, glide to the airport. On a day like today, it's almost impossible to glide to the airport. You have to put it in the field there because the, uh, the winds are so strong. Traffic two zero Romeo turning crosswind runway one one. to traffic, 20 Romeo turning downwind, runway 11. One, one. There you go, very nice. We got a little tailwind now, so pull one back yep. power helps a yep. little. Yep. Even though we're not, we're still gaining some altitude, so. But I just level off here. Once I get to this point okay. here, there's no sense in climbing anymore. Just okay. There you go, good. Romeo turning final, runway 11. Now just use that second runway line as a reference. Now, wind's blowing you to the right, so stop, turn, stop the 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 turn. There you go. Now you're going to get some chops over these, over these the things there, so you got to be careful with the chops, okay? Some nasty chops here, so be careful. Perfect, perfect. Just fly the airplane. It knows attitude. You got the airport made power all the way off. You got not just shoot for the first second, not just fly the airplane. 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 Fly it. Fly it. Fly it. Fly it. Nice and easy. There you go. Not doesn't there you go. Perfect. There you go. Doesn't that that was nice. Okay. 
That was nice. See how he flew it all the way around? Yeah. And the idea is if I gave a long final and I am going to beat myself up there, just keep it tight in there. Yeah. And if we lost the engine, we weren't going to make the airport anyways, okay? Because okay. it's just the wind. It's just because of the wind. But what happened is that was very nice that time. Thank you. So we can go as long as you want. Hey, tell me I want to quit. You just said no mas. Uh, maybe one more okay. anyways. All right. What time you got now? Uh, it's 4.11. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Great Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, clear the runway. Oh, look at all the baby turkeys. Now traffic. Yeah, we'll just we'll cut down here, we'll go down the runway. Okay. Great to traffic, 20 Romeo, back taxi, runway 11. Good. Now you get a sharp lip like that, so I'd enter at a 45 degree angle. There okay. you go, just like that. There you go, good. I gotta do this. Jaguar. Yeah. <laughs> Too low ground clearance. But again, it's if you come back somewhere, so you go somewhere, and the winds are like this, unexpected, you're going to sit there and you're going to sweat it out. Or, or the biggest is you have to fly the airplane. Well, fly the plane. That's Come all. in and try it. Go around if yep. you have to yep. and but try it a second or a third time. It, the big thing is if you continue to have the speed at the speed of 80 to 85, you got it made. Okay, If you're high, you always bring the power back. You know, I've got a few extra, extra slips. But again, this is usually a smaller airport than you're going to be going to. Normally, the time you're going to go on five, six, seven thousand foot runway. So you got a long runway. You can land all the way down there, and you know, the, the winds will be cut down because the crossing will die because right. of the terminal buildings and everything else. Well, it seems like it gets a little more stable once you get into the ground yep. effect. Yep. Yep. That gives you a cushion or. Yep. Yep. or yep. And also, as you get to it, these, this little hill cuts the trees right down. See this, see this uh -huh. windsock here? It's nowhere near as bad as the one on top because once you get below the, the tree line right there, the the, uh, the trees sort of block off all the wind. Nope. Just getting down near the runway is yep. the difficult yep. part. Yep. And again, what happens is that wind's coming right over here, so you're getting these nasty turbulence to drop. And see what happens is it goes all the way down there and it comes back up, so that's a big suck hole right there. See? I'll tell you one thing, you get a calm day, and once you get your medical, you're on your own, man. You're going to go around <laughs> once, or once or twice, just make sure you your conditions, and then you're going to be on your own because you're just doing that. We'll do the three solos, and then do the, I said, there's still, if it's good weather, you can do the cross country, get start yeah. getting those out of the way. i got to work on that. Today was too low to do the cross country. It was good, it couldn't get up to 4,500. Altitude controls are belts and doors. Yep. Great Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, departing runway 11, staying in the pattern. Everybody's in the green. Speed's alive. I'll fly it off nice and easy. Fly it off nice and easy, just like that. That's beautiful. See that? That's how you do it on a day like today. 
you fly it off instead of yanking it and pulling it up and saving it. You can see situational awareness, you got it made, man. And this is where people, they start putting the flaps down too early, and you know, retracting the flaps, and now you get a gust off, because you get yeah, these... Yeah, you want that, that lift. Yeah, you want, you want that lift, because you get a gust off now towards the trees. I mean, you get a sinker that you can't fly out of. So you just leave the flaps down until you get a nice, comfortable speed that you like. Something that you like. Great barrier to traffic, 20 Romeo, turning crosswind, runway 11. Great bearing to traffic, 20 Romeo, turning downwind, runway 11. Great Barrington Traffic, Cherokee 573 uniform is 6 miles west inbound for Great Barrington. Okay, 3 uniform, uh, 2 Romeos in the pattern on the left downwind winds are uh, out of the south at uh, 15 to 20. Uh, we're the only ones in the pattern. Roger, thank you, and we'll keep an eye out for you. West, north, east, 2,000 feet, five. Yeah, we're turning our base now, and this is our last landing. Oh. Yeah, we go. Great Barrington traffic, 20 Romeo, turning base, runway 11. Yep. Yeah, when we land at 20 Romeo, this is our last one, so we'll be underground. Uh, Great Barrington traffic, 33 and 4, uh, about four miles to the west now. Uh, we plan on just flying the upwind and then doing a lap in the pattern, and then making a full stop. Yeah, we just uh, put that way the winds are. You're not used to it, but uh, with, with the trees, we just got the trees in that little hole there. It's a vicious downdraft there, so if you just get a little chop chop. Just be ready for it. Great Barrington traffic, two zero Romeo, turning final runway one one. Beautiful. Fly right to the second runway, and you're going to use your peripheral vision for everything else. If the wind bounces the nose up or down, you're just going to do whatever it takes to keep the airplane in a safe condition, okay? This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. There you go. Fly it there. Balloon. Fly it. No, fly it. Don't give it flying effort. That, that was perfect. That, trust me. That put a smile on my face, okay? okay? You got that little balloon, that wind, and that's what happens. A gust of wind, and then like today, will catch you when you're not uh, suspecting it. But if I'm flying the airplane like that, we'll, we'll go right back on the runway. Okay. So we don't have to worry about you. Oh, these guys have to do an upwind. Uh, you're, you're, you're an unbelievable pilot. I'm serious. I, did, I sat there, and, you, and you, you flew the airplane right through. You did a beautiful flare. You got that gust of, That's the problem I did today. You got the per, even myself, I got the perfect landing set up. The gust of wind kissed me. Now I'm 10 feet in the air. You get a balloon. Right. So, so you, you, fly, you, you fly the airplane. Okay, that's the thing. Is you just fly the airplane. That's what you did. And, I, that, and that gives me... Two zero Romeo, back taxi, runway one one. And that gives me so much confidence as an instructor that knowing that... I can come back and I hear you on a downwind. I say, don't worry about it. He's. I don't even have to watch. He's fine. <laughs> Figure I can only get better, right? Yep. I've been saying that since 1972. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the mirror is that you keep trying. That's right. That's. And. Uh, Inside, you see the clam clamshell there. That's mm -hmm. what's left of the cub. They, 
Uh, when a guy, he was landing on daylight Chris today, to and traffic, he got that little balloon, picked him up, one, one, and went right off into the grass and straight down. Oh no! And nobody got hurt. Okay, nobody got hurt. Well, that's good, yeah. but wow. Yeah, there. The rest of the airplane, normally the couple won't fit in there, but we had to take the field, the gear, well, the gear collapsed on it, but you can see the windows and a part of the, oh, the yeah. wings there. Salvageable or no? Uh, no, 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 it's, uh, it snapped the, uh, the spar, the wing spar broke on one uh, wings. Bad, sorry to hear that. Uh, but yeah. he's all right. Uh, no, but he didn't get any scratch, it was just, it was like, he got that little gust of wind and he started to go around, but we had the wind picked it up and slammed him right down on the ground. And there was like tall grass between it. He didn't even hit the tall grass. It's just like up and... Uh, that's why I prefer the low wings a little bit. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, we'll park it right next to... Uh, the Warrior? The Warrior, yeah. Okay. As far as planes go, if you had an option between a Warrior or a Cherokee 180, which one would you think you'd prefer? Why? The... Well, the 180's got the Hershey bar wing, okay? Okay. Uh, it's a good wing. It's, uh, it uh, rides a little different than those. Um, it's a airplane. And with the short wing, a lot of times you gotta, you got to carry a lot of extra power to get the airplane up on its step uh, for cruise. Uh, it will carry four people. The Warrior is fine. But with a light, with four people a little stretching it. Because okay. that's got the 180 horsepower. This has only got 160 or 150 horsepower in it. But it, this is more roomier than the 180. Really? Yeah. Well, I just, those are the two I'm kind of eyeballing, I guess. Is, uh, if you can get a good one, a 180 is a great airplane. I mean, okay. it's a solid airplane. I got one here. If you ever, I, I got mine, here. I'll take you up and we'll just okay. squish you. Yep. Yeah, maybe we'll do that next time. Yep. That's we'll go we'll take my airplane. We'll just go for a ride. I got a stall kit on it. My stall speed is about uh, 38 on it. So okay. I, I could take off and I just hold right on the edge here in Daily today and go right up. I never have to worry about you when you come back. I'm, ser I'm serious. I did, I did not have to take the controls once today to save the airplane. And then I just did that one time just to show you a little bit there. Right. But you were just unbelievable. I'm well, serious. Thank you. I really appreciate that. It means a lot. I mean, I feel a little more comfortable each and every trip. I mean, that's you, just... Yep, yep, that's part of the you deal. Know, uh, you, you know. I don't ever want to feel overconfident, though. That's another thing. So. But a day like today, I mean, it, it taxes you right out, okay? Oh, yeah. No, the the going home and having a cold beer and and, and relaxing well, I'm is, off tomorrow, so I may, I may have more than one cold beer. <laughs> I was supposed to fly with two more people, but I guess one guy, he says EMT class doesn't get out until 7. And then uh -huh. the other guy, he said, I got car trouble. And I said, you know uh -huh. what? Because he was getting ready for his check riding. And I said, we'll make it tomorrow. Oh, well, you get a little downtime then. Yeah. Not a bad thing. Yeah.